All right, guys, welcome back. Um, another quick update and a little talk about the tank. How it's going. Um, everything, yeah, it's all thriving. It's all growing well. Um, fish are healthy. Uh, things are growing in the tank. Um, you know, everything seems to be really, really good at the moment. Um, however, I did come into a problem. And that problem was the salinity of the tank. Now, um, I used to have a refractometer um, and I used to test my water uh, salinity, doing it like that. Um, and then, obviously, you had to calibrate it and stuff like that, so it wasn't really... I kept on thinking to myself, you know, God, there's got to be an easier way. And then, lo and behold... Um, the Hanna company brought out this. Now, this is where the problem lies. On Hanna, it used to say to bring them out, um, basically to uh, calibrate it. Um, different people have different opinions, but I was going off what they were saying, and they said you usually go every three months or so yeah uh, depending on use now i wasn't really testing the salinity too much only apart from when i was doing water changes um when i was mixing up in my mixing station and uh, that was really the only time that i did um test my water salinity but over the past few months i've decided to keep testing it in the directly in the tank as opposed to when i was mixing the water um and everything seemed fine um, started logging them down along with the um, parameters of the tank uh, just to keep on track and basically to, to make sure everything's growing and everything's doing well um, and then the other day uh, about five six days ago I decided to to uh, calibrate my my salinity probe um, with the calibration fluids that come with it um, did it by the temperature I heated the solution in the sump uh, just to get it up to the temperature really for about half an hour 40 minutes and then decided to test it and this was where the problem was I noticed that some of my coral they were growing but some of them were like slow growing and things were curled up and you know sometimes my levers didn't look right uh, uh, the GSP and the Zoas curled up um, went into themselves now as you can see they're all open um, all the lever the levers and the mushrooms are all polyps extended everything was really good um, so yeah um, but beforehand everything was was all curled up so I was like what's what's the problem here I can't, I can't figure it out I was testing my alkalinity and my calcium all the the ones that you that you assume is the problem um, once I calibrated my HANA checker then that was the problem I checked I calibrated it I put it back into the tank and to my amazement um, and I really don't know how um, it got that eye uh, it was reading 1.031 so it was like absolutely insane i usually run mine at 1.26 uh 2526 keep it that way but i just couldn't believe it i was like gobsmacked um i started to panic um but the coral all the other coral the sps um my uh gold torch me um candy canes everything they all seemed happy so i was like what in you know i just couldn't figure it out uh, went on a few forums, asked a bit of advice off a couple of reefers. Um, they said not to worry too much um, and just basically start to lower it down. Now, I started to lower it. Um, basically, uh, I've ordered now the packs of the, the solutions to this um, machine now. And which come with it, it comes with three, I believe, um, them things, which, which is 35 parts, 
per thousand. Um, so I've ordered 25 of them online, so they should be coming soon. Um, and now I am religiously going to do it every month. I'm not going to go with what people say, as opposed to every three months or so. Um, that just doesn't work. Um, and salinity is one of the biggest the biggest things in a reef tank. Um, so I'm going to stick to, to what I know, and I'm going to run it at... Um, uh, every uh, calibrate every every month um, and do it that way. So now, as you can see, it comes on. Um, night the battery is ninety five percent, so it's zero there. You give it a, a run, leave it in there while it's reading, and. It's just stabilizing, it's reading itself. As you can see that it's flashing in the corner. And I tend to run my tank at around 78.2 to 78.5 really. Um, it's during the day here. Windows and doors have been open because I've been cooking. So it's cooled it down a little, but that's as pretty good as a one I want it really. Um, so really, really happy now that I've got it down. It took about five days to reduce it from one point three zero one point zero three one, um, and now I rinse it in RO water every solitary time now. Just get that salt off the uh, diodes. Um, just give it a big, good clean. And then a bit of a shake after it but yeah definitely that is what you need to do with with uh with them probes now um so it was a bit of a learning curve for me um i'm not actually gonna 100 percent uh, it's not to be for six to be truthful um it's uh a bit of a i've decided i'm thinking do i get a, like an extra backup um, but the refractometers are not as good and neither are the hydrometers so they all fail at some point um, but I just went on thinking that you know with it being electrical um, a battery sorry uh, that it would be good and Hannah have proven in the test kits that they have so I decided to go with it I'm still happy with it especially now um, I've calibrated it but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna calibrate it every month as opposed to every every three months. So that's the way to go. Um, but apart from that, guys, yeah, uh, the whole tank is coming along. It's it's really good. Everything's growing. That green level, it's just growing really really fast. My gold torch is absolutely flowing. Um, I now have around sixteen heads on the candy cane there now. Um, I actually bought that, I think it had about five heads, um, five, six heads on it, only November-ish, yeah, November-ish, um, so really good growth on that, um, and these are the mushroom that I cut up, um, that told to, which wasn't doing too good, I cut them, fragged them, and they uh, seem to be doing really well, they're stuck, the polyps are opening, so really happy with that. Um, as for the rest of them, yeah, they're all growing. Uh, all growing really nice. There's the strawberry shortcake. Good colour on that. Better colour from the top. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty happy with it. Um, we'll just uh, keep on top of the salinity and, and do our thing. But just thought I'd give you a quick update and uh, what to think about the HANA checker um, so yeah really happy with sorry with the HANA salinity probe so really happy um, now that I've got it sorted and I've got the water back down um, if you like this video uh, click the like subscribe um, any points any notes you want to you want to uh, address just leave them in the messages um, the description box below and I'll uh, I'll get back to them cheers guys